Hi friends, happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, April 2nd. So in front of you, you should have this article, my wild weather day, or you can follow along with the video and then use the article later to answer your exit ticket. And you'll need a piece of paper, whether it's the paper that is on mine on the Google Drive that says Thursday for two read aloud my wild weather day or a blank sheet of paper to answer the questions. You will also need something to write with. Now you can write with a pencil, you can write with a colored pencil, you can write with a pen, whatever would make this experience more fun for you. So once we, you have those materials, we can get started. The article that we're reading today is called My Wild Weather Day. Hmm. The girl on the cover does not seem very pleased that it is raining while she's trying to play soccer. So let's see what other weather happens that day. I'm going to read the cover and then you'll answer the first couple of questions. My Wild Weather Day. The day of my big soccer game had the weirdest weather ever. Hmm. wonder what that weird weather is going to be. So before we go into the article, you're going to answer the first question. What is the genre of this article? Take about 15 seconds now. Go. So to figure out the genre of the article, I'm going to look at the cover. I'm going to look, I'm going to flip to the inside and I'm going to flip to the back. So on the cover, I can see a photograph. I can see a heading or I can see a title. That's not a heading. That's a title. I can see a title. Um, and if I look inside, I see more photographs. I see bolded words. I see a heading. And on the back, this looks like what's called a glossary. So a glossary tells you what the bolded words in the article mean. So the first bolded word is a is lightning. On the back it tells you what exactly lightning is. So taking all of those text features into consideration and thinking about what those text features mean, I know that this article is nonfiction. So the genre of this article is nonfiction. And we just went over the text features as well in this article, so you're going to answer the next question. What text features do you see in the article? Take about 30 seconds. Go ahead. All right, so let's look through the article again to try and find all of the text features. So I see a photograph. I see a title here. I see some bolded words. I see a heading. And I see a glossary in the back. So the text features that you need to write down are photographs, titles, headings, bolded words, and glossary. Those are all, those are the five text features that I can see in this nonfiction article. Let's keep reading. 
The day the weather went wild. The day of my big soccer game, the weather changed six times. As you read, look for words that describe the weather. 1. The morning was chilly. I wore a long-sleeved shirt. I could see my breath in the air. Brr! Time to go to the game. Oops. Dropped it. It got hot. Or two, it got hot. I was running a lot during the game, but that's not the only reason I was sweating. The weather had changed. Suddenly, it wasn't chilly anymore. It was 70 degrees. It was hot. I wished I could take off that long sleeve shirt. So now that we've read the first two little paragraphs describing the first two weather changes, let's answer the next question. What is the main topic? Take about 30 seconds. Okay, so when I'm looking at the main topic of the article, I'm looking for what the article is about. This is going to be a phrase, with like one or two words, um, telling us what the article is about. So on the front, the title is My Wild Weather Day. And then on also on the front, it says, The day of my big soccer game had the weirdest weather ever. So the article is about weather for sure. But it's not just any weather. The heading also says, The day the weather went wild. So we know that this weather that's happening is not normal. It's either weird or wild. So the main topic is wild weather or weird weather. You can pick whichever one you want. Wild or weird weather. All right, let's keep reading. Number three, it began to rain. It started pouring during the game. It was a total downpour. We slid and slipped, and we lost the game. Oh, well. We all went out for pizza. I was soaked. My clothes dripped all over the table. Number four, there was thunder and lightning. After pizza, we drove home. Lightning lit up the sky. Boom! We heard thunder. The rain was so heavy, I couldn't wait to get home. 5. It started to hail. I couldn't believe it. Little balls of ice started to fall. It was hail. We finally got home. I picked up the hail. It was freezing. Look, a rainbow. I went inside. I changed into dry clothes. What a relief. By then, the hail had stopped. I looked outside. The most beautiful rainbow was in the sky. This was the craziest weather day ever. So now that we've read about all of the weather changes that happened on this weird and wild weather day, we can answer the next question. The next question is, why did the girls start to sweat? give two reasons. Go ahead.
So to answer this question, I'm going to open up my article, and I'm going to look at the headings in each of these boxes. So, and I'm going to see which one would make the most sense for that information to answer the question to be in. So the morning was chilly. That's number one. Mm, I don't think people typically sweat when it's chilly, so I don't think I'm going to look there. Then the next one, it got hot. Hmm. I could definitely look there because people tend to sweat when it's hot outside, but let's keep looking for, for headings to see if um, there's another caption I should be looking at too, or another paragraph I should be looking at too. Three, it began to rain. Mm, people don't usually sweat in the rain, so I'm not really going to look there. There was thunder and lightning. Hmm. If there's thunder and lightning, people are typically inside. And if people are inside, they're not usually sweating. So I'm not going to look there either. It started to hail. Well, we know from that paragraph that hail is little balls of ice. So if little balls of ice are falling from the sky, it's probably not going to be hot enough out to for the, for the girl to be sweating. So I'm not going to look there. And then look, a rainbow. So she, when she got home, she went inside and she changed. And she's looking at the rainbow from her window. So we know that she's not outside, so she's probably not sweating. So the paragraph that we should look at is the one with the heading that says, It got hot. So this is the paragraph that we're going to look at to see why the girl started to sweat. So let's reread that paragraph. It got hot. I was running a lot during the game. But that's not the only reason I was sweating. The weather had changed. Sudden, um, the weather had changed. Suddenly, it wasn't chilly anymore. It was seventy degrees. It was hot. I wished I could take off that long sleeve shirt. So, at the beginning of the paragraph, we see that she said, "I was running a lot during the game." But that's not the only reason I was sweating. So we know that that's not the only reason, but it's definitely one reason. So one reason is the girl was running a lot during the game. Now, let's look for the second reason. So the weather had changed. Suddenly, it wasn't chilly anymore. It was 70 degrees. It was hot. So the other reason that she started to sweat is because the weather changed and it got hot out. So the two reasons why the girl started to sweat was that she was running a lot and the weather changed so it was hot out. Let's answer the next question. What does the word hail mean? You can use two strategies to answer this question. You can either look at that bolded word inside your article, or you can look at the glossary on the back. Take about 20 seconds to answer that question. Go. All right, now you could have, to answer that question, you could have either used the bolded word that was in the article, or you could have used the glossary that was on the back. So let's start with the bolded word. We know that we're going to look in this paragraph to find it because she's holding hail. The heading said it started to hail, and there's a bold word in there that says hail. So let's read this paragraph to see if we can answer the question. It started to hail. I couldn't believe it. Little balls of ice started to fall. It was hail. We finally got home. I picked up the hail. It was freezing. So we know that she picked up this hail. And if we look very closely, it looks like they're little balls of ice. And that's exactly what it says in the paragraph. Little balls of ice started to fall. It was hail. So what does the word hail mean? Hail is little balls of ice falling from the sky. And on the back, it says something very similar. Hail, balls of ice that fall from the clouds.
So what does the word hail mean? Hail is little balls of ice that fall from the clouds. And now you can answer that last question. How is a rainbow made? Take about 30 seconds. Go. To answer that question, we should look in a couple of different places. So on in the article, we can see a picture of the girl looking at the rainbow. So there might be information in there. So let's read that paragraph to figure it out. Look, a rainbow. I went inside. I changed into dry clothes. What a relief. By then, the hail had stopped. I looked outside. The most beautiful rainbow was in the sky. This was the craziest weather day ever. So we see that that bolded word rainbow is in that paragraph, and we see a picture of a rainbow in that photograph. But we still don't know how a rainbow is made. But we do know at the back of this article, there's a glossary. And that glossary is going to give us more information about that bolded word. So let's look at our glossary. And we see this picture says, or this picture is of a rainbow, and it's going to tell us what a rainbow is. A rainbow, an arc of colors in the, in the air. A rainbow is made when sunlight hits water drops. Hmm. So this is telling us exactly what a rainbow is and how it's made. So a rainbow is an arc of colors in the air, and a rainbow is made when sunlight hits water drops. So how is a rainbow made? A rainbow is made when sunlight hits water drops. All right, my friends, now that we've read the entire article, we can answer our exit ticket. The exit ticket today is asking you, what was the weather like on the girls' wild weather day? Make sure you include all of the weather changes in the correct order. You should also use transition words like first, then, after, next, and finally. So we are going to write about all of the weather changes that happened during this girls' day. And we know that to do that, we should look at the inside of the article. Because that's telling you all of the weather changes that happened during that day, and it tells you the order too. You can follow the arrows that go from here to here to here to here to here. Or you can look at the numbers, because you know the no order that the numbers come in. So in addition to saying what the weather is, you can also say what happened when that weather changed. So for example, you could say, first, it was chilly. And you know it was chilly because the girl could see her breath in the air. So that's providing more detail to your answer. All right, my friends, you're going to answer that question and you're going to do your very best work and write in complete sentences, and don't forget those transition words. If you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out to your teacher and they will try to help you. All right, my friends, enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow.